Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another episode reaction video of Ahsoka. Today we're watching episode two, and we obviously left off with episode one, the map, and there was a Sith Lord, Master and Apprentice, ex-Jedi, and you know, Sabine used to be the apprentice of Ahsoka, and she whipped out a lightsaber, and we ended with Sabine getting stabbed. So now, Map's in the, pad the, the apprentice, Sith apprentice's hands, and Sabine's lying on the ground, stabbed. So we've seen people survive worse, okay? Again, I will repeatedly bring up Maul getting chopped in half and surviving because of his pure rage. So yeah, Sabine could survive because she's stubborn and she got stabbed through, you know, technically like Qui-Gon, but Qui-Gon was ready. He was like, you know what? Did all I could. I will serve my next part of my journey in the, the force. Because oh because Qui-Gon is just cool like that, okay? He he knew what he had to do and he did it. So, anyways, <laughs> side note, Sabine will be fine. So I'm ready for it. Hope you are too. So let's get to it. Are we having a flashback? There were two galaxies, and then a pathway appeared between them. Where did the path in our galaxy begin? What planet? They took them out the map of Red trees? Which? Bro, where the heck is Thrawn? Where the heck is Thrawn? Where the heck is Thrawn? He and Ezra gone, he and Ezra gone. Oh my gosh. Bro, he's so good in it too, and he's the one that's passed. Better I believe we have located the reflex point on CTOS. Is it just me or the apprentice giving some Billy Eyeish vibes? Yeah, maybe it's the hair and the dark eyeliner, but it's also kind of that like. Kitty Cat knows something. They're smart. They're smarter than they let on. I'm just trying to think. Oh. Um. I was hoping you were still here. She's playing a game. Encrypted. I need a minute. It's overheating. Switch it off. Not yet. I'm pulling the plug. Oh, wait. <laughs> what is it? This droid came here from Corellia. The New Republic shipyard? I'm fine. So they can't get a recording of its memory, like seeing the map? Still. You need to help each other. Oh, motherly Hera. You heard her. She doesn't want it's my coming help. out. Yes, yeah, she does. Thanks, Hera. Give me time. Show me what you find. I love the skirt pants. Honestly, I'm really digging these characters. I want that outfit, actually. This place was not built by the Jedi. Whose work is it? An ancient people from a distant galaxy. Sith? Would you like to see it? Yes. Is our galaxy. <gasps> Swirly boys? Is the Virgo? 
ancient Murgill drawings? That is our destination. While Grand Admiral Thrawn is banished. banished. Pathway to Peridia. The children of the Jedi Temple call it that. It comes from old stories. Fairy tales. Tales which are based on Why are you a bad boy now? I feel the path forward is clouded. Thrawn calls to me. Across time and space. Mm. You speak of dreams. Vague and fractured hope. That was cool. I like that. The Eye of Scion is on its way here. Make sure that everything is ready for its rival. Maroc will complete his task. Maroc. See that he does. Did we get her name yet? The Padawan? Apprentice? Whatever. Master. What happens when we find Thrawn? For some, war. Is she gonna turn? The light side. A new beginning. And for us. Power. Such as you've never dreamed. I was just telling General Sundula that when the Empire fell, all Imperial assets were dissolved and redistributed, including those held by Morgan Elsbeth. All the same, we'd appreciate a look at her former facilities and operations. Well, I am quite busy at the moment. <laughs> I could make this a more formal inspection, if you'd like. <laughs> that won't be necessary, General. Wasting my time. <gasps> Buddy! This was one of Morgan's facilities. He would not like she to be left behind. She supplied raw materials used in the construction of hyper So could you. She's not ready. I'm curious. What makes someone ready? Yeah, me too. Ezra, certainly. You just know. So do they. Ah, I see you still have your lightsaber. Ezra's lightsaber. True, he constructed it, and by all accounts it served him well. Then he passed it on to you. You have since made your own modifications. So it is now your lightsaber. All the good it did me. Have you kept up with your training? Obviously not. Well, perhaps it is time to begin again. Oh, I can't train if Ahsoka doesn't want to teach me. That is an excuse, and a poor one. Hey, mm -hmm. she quit on me. The past is the past. Move forward. <laughs> this bot. Okay, Droid but I just got wisdom. If you could have unlocked the map yourself, would Ahsoka have come here? Irrelevant. Was I part of the plan? Was she going to tell me about Ezra, or was this little reunion hero's idea? General Sindula thought your insights would be valuable. And Lady Tano agreed. Forgot how annoying you are. Logical. <laughs> I like them. It doesn't matter. I never had the talent, the abilities. Not like Ezra. That much is true. <laughs> Thanks. I have known many Padawans over the centuries, and I can safely say your aptitude for the Force would fall short of them all. I won't waste any more of her time. The only time you are wasting is your own. Well, I'm glad they uh, cleared that up for me. So she has obviously a little bit of Force, but every... Uh, living thing has the force flowing through them and some have a greater is that a hyperdrive core yes refurbished from an ssd ready for its new life serving the republic this facility has Solid produced nine drive. of these new models the new republic defense fleet isn't building anything that big what class of starship are they for uh let's see oh there it is classified Classified. But you're the one I'm a charge. general. Nothing's classified to me. I cannot unseal the document without authorization. Well, then I'm authorizing Who? it. Well, I'm not sure you can. Want to bet? 
Um, C1, can you come over here, please? Yeah, I was gonna say, who else is in charge, Perhaps bud? you can help with the protocol here. No HK class? Assassin droid. <laughs> I should think not. Not even repurposed, you know, to stay on schedule. I have seen such a droid. Thank I you. Catalog inventory on arriving transports. Awesome. An HK class droid recently prevented me from completing this. Where task. is this droid now? I believe it is departing on that transport. I said uh -oh. stop that ship. That's an order. For the Are you freaking kidding me, you guys? There's a freaking Jedi there. I mean, whatever she is. Get the Phantom. Right. Phantom! Bro. Hello! Okay, episode two. Oh. Well, hello there. Ooh, you handsome. Fire up the engine shop! Oh, oh. oh, you're kind of... Robot stance. Come and play. Oh, sending your droid to fight for you. Very cute. So what is that, an Inquisitor? Show us your face. It would not be Ezra. They need more chopper complaining. There we go. <laughs> Keep your lid on, chop. Mmm, <laughs> yes. Nice, easy as a shield. I like his kind of knight armor. Ah ha ha, there it is. There's a dress. Can't just shoot it down and we Shoot it, it down! I love it. Just ready a tracking device. And don't miss this time. I never miss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love his little hands. Found it. I love it. Hurry up. They're going to make the jump into hyperspace as soon as they clear the atmosphere. My ride's here. Oh. It couldn't come back. Oh, Maroc is his name. That was cool. She's just like very interesting. So there's three of them. Landed. Got it. Good work, Chop. Right before you got him. Ceremonial cutting. Wait, so is this referencing the end of giving us answers to the end of episode? Oh. Oh, it's so good. Just like the episode. Aww. So. Nice haircut. It's more me. And easier for the helmet. I have just received a transmission from General You better Sindula. get moving. Is out. Paddle on. Aww. Cute. Pretty. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. 
Installation of the final hyperdrive has begun. Soon the Eye of Scion will be complete, and we shall deliver Grand Admiral Thrawn from his exile in the far galaxy. Our presence in the Force is elusive, yet her determination is vivid. She is coming. To kill her will be a shame. There are so few Jedi left. Sentimental? Truth. I mean, fair. He still calls her a Jedi. Steph Green, you did great. That was a good episode. All I can say is I liked episode two way better, which is, you know, sometimes they use the first episode to build up and it wasn't bad, but episode two rocked my socks. It was really good. I love the beginning where they did the map sequence with the Night Sister, green essence magic, popping up that map visual, very cool. That vibey feeling between master and apprentice of the dark side or whatever, or a non-Jedi, who knows what they're serving, but clearly he's searching power. So mm, feels very Sith to me. Uh, this Maroc person who was is another force user. What is this trio? This is different than the rule of two. What's going on here? Curie, curious, curious indeed. Oh goodness, Chopper highlight. I loved it. It made me so gleefully happy seeing him complain on the <laughs> Phantom. It just, I love it. Very, very rebel, <laughs> rebels vibes. I loved the fight sequence with Soka and Morocco. That was very good. Really good coordina uh, coordination and stunts by that guy. So kudos to you. I really enjoyed, you know, Sabine's moment of transformation back into her armor, being ready, all that. The little moment in... I think it was this episode, yeah, with the map and her doing that sequence and finding the location. That that was all great. And I loved Hera's mom moment. So really good, strong episode. A lot of fun moments with the fighting and the visuals and the character nods. So really looking forward to that. Uh, I have a lot of questions about these dark or force users. I sense uncertainty um, in all of them in a way. There seems like Balin mentions power but there's always obviously that jedi abrupt bringing in him and his padawan or apprentice rather again is curious i don't know if it's him doing his own wings because she has the padawan tail which is very remnant of the jedi which makes sense he came from there but she was asking questions like what's going to happen to us when thrawn shows up there's probably some fears there i'm curious about her reasoning or is it she doesn't trust her master and she's gonna make it the rule of two <laughs> as we know the Sith play so and I am really again the Night Sister thing super cool I would I love and I'm excited to see more of this like other deep lore or like other cultures in this ugh, that's I'm really excited for the acolyte for, uh, for that reason for seeing this dark side and and their motivations and reasoning we didn't get a lot of that in Star Wars live action so it's exciting to see that possibility i don't know either way i just want to see more of this dark edginess of star wars yeah and again i'm still pulling out hope we could see zeb we got to see chop para sabine eventually gonna see ezra so why not why would you not outside of maybe money <laughs> cost to make him in this episode, show the whole time i don't know but yeah, and clearly there's some fans of the Empire still among them, like a whole bunch of sketch people clearly involved in Corellia. So <laughs> gotta be careful. <laughs> like, and like uh, she, Ahsoka was saying, greed and what does the Empire serve is some of these more sinister moral compasses. But people can have debate about that, but we, they lead to um, other people suffering when power and greed becomes priority. Where do you have to get more of that? You take it from somebody else. Uh, but yeah, overall, really good. That's all my notes. Um, really excited for more to get answers about things. And yeah, really pumped about that. So guys, thanks again for so much for being here. If you want to show support, you know how to do that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That'll let you know when videos go live. And also don't forget to like the video. If you made it this far, you certainly enjoyed it. So 
don't forget to do that. Otherwise, thanks again very much, and I'll see you on the next one.